fetal, you understand fetal? Fetus, right? Fetal epidema is uh, epidema is uh, replaced for the development. The initial cells, first time, very, very rudimentary original are called as progenitor, stem cells, right? Progenitor cells. And they uh, provide uh, provide protein cells with the structural uh, functional. Trophic means functional and metabolic support. Okay? And they transport the nutrients for the development of capillary nutrients. Not only the neuron, but capillary, I mean, that is not a neuron, it's a smooth muscle, other things. So, is, is anything difficult? I think this is memorization. Okay? Is it difficult? No. Any point? Okay, let me know because just the types and the, this lecture is mostly uh, simple. In adults, they help circulate the CSF, they regulate the spinoids, okay, and they serve, okay, blood brain barrier. So, uh, microglia, the fourth type, it's oval shaped. Now see, this is blood. Immune, immune system, I told you in the brain and also blood. So brain and blood are connected. So who knows, these, uh, uh, all these uh, uh, macrophages and all these things are connected with the, uh, I mean these uh, glial cells. So they are interacted, they are regulated. So blood and the, uh, the glial cells, they are interacted. Blood derived monocytes move into the brain. See, some of their work is done during the early developmental uh, stages of the embryo. They then differentiate into microglia. See, in the blood, they are monocytes. They go and become microglia. And they share many surface markers. Do you understand surface markers? There are some molecules that give some specific indication in the membrane, they are markers. Markers mean that the, if we see something is present, we say this is due to this. If it is absent, we, I mean, this, this gives some manifestation. It's a test, laboratory test. Uh, antigens with their blood around monocytes. About, uh, they are 20% cell. This is very important. Each type is important. So they are related to brain. Uh, brain cells are related to brain. Brain cells are related to brain. Brain cells are related to brain. So they are related to brain. Blood and brain related. The function is first and main form the active immune defense and then antigen presentation, uh, phagocytosis, etc. Schwann cells, you know, no need of discussion. Uh, you know the, uh, their, their functions and uh, they are in the regrowth of the PNS. What is PNS? Okay, uh, neuron for the nerve transaction. There are two types of Schwann cells, myelinating and non -myelinating. I think it's also clear to me. And uh, there is a node. <coughs> there is no fat, no Schwann cell. So node to node, conduction to conductor to conductor, Mohs cell to Mohs cell. And Schwann cell is Hodges, insulated. Okay. So the myelinating Schwann cells surround large atom. non myelinating Schwann cells in distribution, no myelin sheet. They, the speed is very slow. Uh, it's on the uh, it, it close small exon vegetation of the surface forming bundles of unmyelin. Uh, this is the very big bundles. Okay, but only thing is, you already know that myelination occurs with the cells, uh, the, the short cells. That is important. If they are not present, no myelination, and the conduction will be slow. You know, other things are minor. <coughs> myelin formation begin at uh, what time of the birth, baby birth? 16th week of birth. Intra, you understand intrauterine, baby, but does not, did not. And life can continue throughout the childhood, most rapid during the first two, two years of life, myelination. So it means uh, the care of the child during two initial years is very important. Proper diet, milk, everything, movement, physical. This is very important for the remaining life because this myelination occurs. Another important growth. Processes. Oh, no, no, no. Did we, did we miss something? Yes. Yes. Oh, I go back. Okay, after now, it's okay. Central myelin. I mean, just you know, central myelination, peripheral myelin. Central <coughs> means trans myelin. Peripheral means. Of. So, so central myelination, oligo dendrocyte coat the exon in central system. Okay. They, that insulate the exon is central for the fast transmission, right? But it is the center of it. Defect in this system occurs in demyelinating, for example, MS. Nowadays, I study MS. As I also told you, anyone who likes to work in uh, um, 
the medical staff said, Dr. Uh, Mamdou, he's the head of neurology in Noor Hospital, and I, we work together. So we see the patients of multiple sclerosis. I mean, the disease where myelin is gone, very, very, and there are really large number of patients, men and women more. <coughs> so if you like to study this, uh, maybe next year sometime, let me know, OK? We have published also some data. So uh, this is related to central myelination. My, my, my interest is more central nervous system, brain. OK, not the peripheral, more central more. And the central myelination contrasts with myelination of the peripheral nervous system. One, <coughs> you wouldn't say, can provide a myelin sheet for several exons. This does not appear in the peripheral nervous system. See the my myelination not in one exon, but many exons. I think you will be bored because this lecture does not have concepts. But it is going to end, don't worry. I think how many slides are left? Leaders. OK, so peripheral. What is the peripheral of the myelination? <coughs> myelination <coughs> anywhere in the body. At PNS, they provide one. OK, you can read it. Show on cells. There are, therefore, many layers of cell membrane. You can read this as a okay. I mean, the functions are same. Cell data conduction of this. Give me just a few minutes. Then we all will go watch. No, no, no. Uh, I mean, they will let them go because they have to go. Sometimes. Yeah, yeah. Now, the clinical uh, importance of the real cells, the real loss may contribute to impairment of learning and memory. Okay? Learning and memory. We were talking about the learning and memory neurologically, uh, neurophysiologically that uh, there are hippocampal cells they store uh, with the negative negativity but now this is another way uh, the, 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 the cellular level the real cells are very important for for the learning and memory uh, therapeutic approaches to uh, to do this in human neurodegenerative disease. you know the neurodegenerative disease uh, the sleep, the, uh, this this uh, glia is very well glia and via is frequently have been regeneration of lost neural functions Loss of neuron in the central nervous system does not result in a single <coughs> reaction. Now, really, in the future, maybe in central nervous system, glial cell might be important, much important. But peripheral nervous system, huge work has been done. And when uh, we need regeneration, we can do it to some extent. But central nervous system is more complicated. And central nervous system diseases are more complicated. So with the time, we will, uh, we will know the role of glial cell in clinical. Okay, Set. in the central nervous system, regrowth may only happen. Okay, this is possibility in central nervous system. The regrowth may only happen if the trauma was little bit, not too severe. So regrowth may occur. So it means regrowth occurs with the help of glial cells. This is one thing is wrong. In peripheral, we know, but in central nervous system, is. but if it is huge the loss, then the regrowth is difficult. But really, with the time, we will know it. Inshallah, we will know how to. So that when the severe trauma present itself, survivor many more uh, neuron becomes the optimal solution. It becomes problem. In addition to neurodegenerative diseases, avoid range of harmful exposure such as hypoxia can also affect our body. And similarly, physical trauma and damage to the central nervous system. Okay, these are the clinical. I think it's not. Yeah, a few few slides. Okay, the so generally. Uh, this is nothing. I think everything I'm reading, it's simple. <coughs> if there is something you feel difficult, please stop me. Generally, when damage occurs to the central nervous system, the central nervous system is important. <coughs> Bread, my God. And the cause is apoptosis. You know what is it? Yes. Uh, it's a good process. Yes. The, the, the cells are lost. Yes. Death, uh, death of cells. This is a very uh, organized system. Okay. Then there is a large amount of microbial which result in And I told you inflammation is good. It helps. And finally, there is a heavy release of growth in the body. This is a mechanism for making the things normal. And the glia play more sophistication, sophisticated new neuron like roles. See that? Neuron like. And they integrate neural input, modulate synapses, and have control, <coughs> control, modulatory control, and process the signal related to learning and memory, signal of human. So it means learning, memory, neuro degenerative disorders in future. <coughs> These glial cells research will be very helpful, inshallah. And related to central nervous system, because learning and memory is entirely central nervous system. Finish or not yet? Oh, so cassocyte okay, so accumulation of tau protein. In astrocyte, there are some clinical particles. So in astrocyte, there are some proteins, tau protein, 
uh, in many power related neural degenerative. You have to remember that. <coughs> this is nothing, just simple. Is it okay? I mean, the uh, astrocytes are involved in accumulating certain proteins. Astrocytes, when they become abnormal, they do some abnormal function. These four proteins are accumulated in disease occurs. This is a type of protein. We don't go in detail, but this, you remember the name. So top protein, uh, and if we go into details, uh, really it's uh, very interesting, but we don't go. Oligodendrocytes, as this is repetition, it is involved in MS, it is involved in accumulation of, again, as top, and the viral inclusions also, okay? And uh, the uh, ependyma viral inclusion. So it means the neurodegenerative diseases, viral diseases, and many other aspects, glia is involved. Several types of the glia. All right. Yeah, finished. I think we don't need somebody because somebody is here. No, no, no. no, student. This lecture, most of this lecture is just to read. But please, you have to get concept of the first two lectures, okay? This lecture, I halwa, I think you can read it. But there is only one concept, only one concept, that neuron, glial cell, I summarize this whole lecture, that neuron are helped by glia in performing many functions, particularly learning, memory, immune system, viral infection, neurodegenerative disorders, and variety of, like capillary, wrapping, and many. So it means glia is not only in the brain function, immune system, even it is related to blood, monocytes, right? So glia is very important. Otherwise, this lecture, whenever you sit down, you will get it. It is not. But still, if you find difficulty, please let me know. I think time. Yeah.